Indiana and federal leaders touting the successes of the Indiana Crime Guns Task Force. Now, the group's goal is to break the cycle of violence by getting illegal guns off the streets. Jesse Wells has a look at what may change moving forward. So far this year, the Indiana Crime Guns Task Force has seized 366 illegal firearms and resulted in 264 arrests. While police believe those numbers have helped drive down overall crime, so far it has not stopped an increase in youth violence. In mid-June, a series of police raids in central Indiana resulted in more than 100 firearms being seized, along with 19 people being charged for allegedly operating a multi-state drug ring. More than 300,000 deadly fentanyl pills were also recovered during that bust. The case was made possible in part due to the work of the Indiana Crime Guns Task Force, whose goal is to target repeat violent offenders. Why are these arrests important? Because no one becomes a target of this task force unless they have, they or the weapon that they possessed have been used at least twice in firearms incidents against our neighbors. These are violent individuals. IMPD believes seizing illegal guns, like the one seen here, is partially responsible for a decline in total and criminal homicides compared to the last couple of years. While we welcome any decline, those statistics cannot heal the families and the neighborhoods that are victimized by criminals and illegal guns. Our efforts must continue Still, because shootings and homicides involving juvenile victims have reached record levels this year, in 2024, the task force will make it a priority to focus on straw purchasers who may be providing guns to young people. Let's make this very clear. If you go to a gun store and you buy a firearm for somebody who's prohibited and provide that to them, then that's illegal. That's a federal crime for a penalty up to 15 years imprisonment. And we're going to start doing a lot more this year to analyze that. In addition to this year's numbers, since the task force began work in July 2021, officers have seized nearly 900 illegal guns.